Okay, good evening everybody and welcome back. Uh, we're uh, adding on to the tutorial that we just did. As you can see, I now have levels 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you can create your levels any way you want. As you can see, uh, we're set to... Uh, um, doom, doom, doom. We're set up. I already got platforms in place. And, and as you can see, they're just setting up there. Also, you can see that I have more enemies. And over here, I have a spot where if you fall off, you die. Um, but we're going to go back to level 1. And in this part, we're going to add regions. Um, by adding regions, we can make it do different things. Like if he enters it and you want him to transform into something, or if you want him to enter it and change to a level, you can have him do all kinds of things by passing through it. Also, regions are used for scoring in a game and stuff. Like if uh, if you got your like uh, Flappy Bird one, you've got to pass through it in order to get a score. Uh, there's so many things you can do with regions, but in this tutorial, we're just going to show you how to add a region and use it for uh, purposes real simple. Uh, we're just going to switch scenes by hitting this region. Um, you can go in here under scene attributes and click here and create this uh, um, a whole nother way, and then you can use it different ways from there, or you can do it the simple and easy way. Basically, we're just going to use it on the scene. It's an event. We're going to go add actor, specific actor, enters region. So actor, and we're going to choose mumbo, enters region 0. Then uh, um, all we have to do is go over here to uh, um, scene attribute. And then we're going to just take the top one, which says fade out. For blank seconds, then switch scene and fade in for blank seconds. We're just going to put in here 0 .03, which is a real nice, simple one, and put over here 0 .03. Oops, not no, 0 .03. And then over here, we want him to uh, change scene, and we're going to say he's going to go to scene two from scene one. Really nice, simple, easy. There's not a lot of information that you have to do, but this is a scene behavior. So now we want to go to scene two. We need to add a region. And over here, we're just going to go and fill in that little area. As you can see, this has region zero. You can also change the name of your regions and stuff if you want. Um, or you can send it to the forward, backward, whatever. But that's okay. Now we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go over here, add event. And then we're going to go specific actor, mumbo, enters, region, zero. And then again, we got to go to scene. Uh, it's under, uh, um, no, it's under game flow. So fade out. 0 0.03 switch scene and he's going to level 3 and then go 0 0.03 and that's really nothing to adding the switching part so now when he hits that area he's going to go into the next scene and then on level 3 we can add one way over here and this one can be a little more complicated for him to get to uh, since he, he, has, he has to fall, if, if they don't think about just jumping, um, then they won't even know it's there. So if they don't jump high enough and they miss, they don't go in, they die. So we would just go into events, and this is per scene. And then we go actor, specific enters or leaves a region. So again, choose mumbo, enters region and then you got to scroll all the way to the side because it's way over here so mumbo enters region and then again we need to go to uh, scene game flow take the top one fade out for 0 0.03 you can set it to anything you want and, and we're going to choose a scene so we're, he's going to go back to the start 
Or you can have him cycle back to level three again if you really want it. You can have him start back at the start if he makes it to the end. And you can make it a like repetitive loop if you wanted. So let's do that. Go point zero three. So he's gonna go back to the start of level three when he jumps off the side of the screen. <clears throat> okay. And we want to add some more stuff to our uh, um, actor here before we get started. We want to go into mumbo. These are the things we didn't do in the last video. And in here, we want to add a behavior. And he wants to be able to stomp on the enemies. So, stompable group would be enemies. Uh, your jump key. So that we can get above them. Okay. And then you also want to add, since we added that extra long uh, uh, screen. We also want to go in here under... Uh, uh, game on camera follows and you can change this if you want if you want the camera to go faster or slower um, that's up to you so now that we got those on there he's now able to stomp on our enemies and the camera will follow him okay so now we need to go back here and we need to modify our pronger which is our enemy and we need to add a behavior so that that when uh, um, our stompable person can stomp on him. He makes his sound. And that he is selectable to be a stompable person. Also, make sure when you check your properties that your uh, your uh, pronger is set to enemies, not actor. Because if he's not, then he's not a stompable character. Um, also, remember that uh, uh, your mambo dude should be set as actor or player. It's really up to you. Um, these are different groups that you can put people in so that you can uh, have them do specific things with specific other people or other characters in the game. Okay. So now with those set, we should be set to go. We'll go to level one. We'll make sure everything's set. Yep, looks good. Okay. Now you just hit test your game. This is a real quick, simple tutorial on how to add your regions and make it switch between by having your character pass through them without having to create all, a lot of different stuff in order to get it to happen. So, we're going to go over here, stomped on him, we hit our region and you see we changed our level. As you can see, if I fall through this hole, he will restart level 2. And now we're into level three. Uh, make sure your gapping is right on your uh, um, on your platforms, and your weight of your person isn't too heavy to make jumps. Sometimes you have to go up a level in order to make a jump. He can only jump about two spaces wide and one high, um, with 85% gravity, and his weight is 0.71. If you change his weight, he can actually jump higher. So we'll go over here. As you can see, the enemies can't kill me, but I can't push them either. As you can see, when they hit me, they, they back up. So, come here. Ah, look, missed again. Ugh, one more. There we go. Okay, and as we get over here to the end of this level, as you can see, I made that last level awful long. If we hit jump and we start back at the end of level or start at three. But again, the way I had it set up is if you miss that that zone, and I try and miss it this time on the jump. We do 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 we if we jump jump and, and miss, then he'll still start back at the start, but <coughs> it's only because he died. It wasn't that he uh, transferred between it. Okay. So that's the end of this tutorial on how to get your character to switch between scenes without having to go in and create new attributes and stuff in order to get your game to do it. Quick, easy, simple. And that's per scene. Um, 
things that you're doing. So you went to scene one, you added your region, went to scene two, added your region, scene three, added your region, and then you added events. Also, we went in and added um, extra behaviors to our, our character, Mumbo, <laughs> which was the stomp on enemies and camera follows. Um, and also, we went into Pronger under behaviors and we added the stompable. Okay? So if you have any questions or comments or want to see me try and do something else in one of these videos, please let me know. And you can reach me here on my YouTube channel. Have a great one. Enjoy. Bye.